Now, my next guest has set over 100 Guinness World Records title to promote STEM education, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. On June the 7th, 2018, at a girls-powered STEM event, he set the Guinness record for the most chairs balanced on his chin with eight chairs. Then in May of 2019, on Britain's Got Talent, Jay Rawlings broke the record with 11 chairs. Now, we have featured our guest breaking records numerous times on our segment, In Case You Missed It. We've been wanting so much to have him here. Well, now he is here in person to regain the Guinness World Record title for the most chairs balanced on his chin. Would you please welcome an amazing guy, David Rush. David, welcome. Thank you for coming. Governor Huckabee, it is a pleasure to be here. We have, uh, we talked about you on this show many times. We've shown videos of some of your records that are mm -hmm. just amazing. But this isn't just a game for you. I mean, you're doing it to call attention to science, technology, engineering, and math. Why is that so important? Yeah, so I work at a technology company in Boise, Idaho called Cradle Point. We're actually the most valuable venture-backed technology company in the state. And the hardest positions to fill are those that required STEM degrees, uh, science, technology, engineering, math, especially computer science, computer programming. Um, and I've been there about 10 years, and we've gone from 60 to 600 people. It's wow. a wild ride. A lot of growth. Uh, but it's not just in Idaho that we've got a shortage of STEM-trained people. It's a nationwide and actually a worldwide shortage. And so I'm trying to get students engaged uh, in science and technology, say, and, and part of the problem, here's the barrier they've got, it's hard. They struggle yeah. at math, yeah. fail at a science test, and say, I could never become an engineer. And what I'm going to give them is a growth mindset. This yeah. idea that if you set your mind to a goal, believe in yourself, and pursue it with a passion, you can accomplish virtually anything. And from five years ago, when I had zero Guinness World Records, <laughs> this is a tangible example yeah. of that, uh, and now I've set over 130. 130 world records, certified as Guinness World Records. I mean, it's pretty amazing. When you come up with these ideas, you're gonna break a record. How do you even think of, I'm gonna do this, that'll break a Guinness record. <laughs> so most of it's, it's a lot of research, reading the book, watching the Guinness specials, um, looking on the website, and then also thinking about what are my core talents and abilities and skills, and where can I branch out? It started with juggling, moved on to balancing, and now it's just, what's anything, I, can, I, can, I now have this mindset that I could break any world record what do I want to do? I want you to break one tonight on this show. Are you ready to give it a shot? Let's do it. Let's go do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Keith, tell us about it. Well, all right. Here's the rules. For the Guinness World Record for most chairs balanced on the chin, here's exactly what David needs to do. Number one, the current record is for 11 chairs. And we've got your chairs all spread out here. You've got to take 11 chairs at least uh, in a stack on the chin. Now, two, he must balance chairs that are full size, fit for an adult. Let me, let me check it out here and make sure. Oh yeah, some people call me an adult and I certainly fit in that category. Your wife doesn't, but yes. that's a whole nother story. Now David's chin and chairs must be free of any friction bonding chemicals. Let me see here, no, uh, uh, needs a shave, but other than that. <laughs> and the chairs must be balanced for at least 10 seconds without the support of David's hands. That's very important. Now, the governor and I are gonna use our these stopwatches. You got one? I got one. I got one, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna time you. Keith, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the audience to count with us. So, uh, how many chairs we got? I don't know. So, it looks like we got 12 chairs sitting right here, which is enough to break the record. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Except, somebody brought three extra chairs out. Um, I say go for it. You wanna go for so, it? Should I just put the extra chairs on there? Yeah! yeah. Go for it? Yeah! Come on. All right, let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's make him work for it. Since the stack's already upside down, I'll just add him this way. Since we break the rail, let's break it. Oh, man. Now, a, a, little, a little thing he doesn't know about, Governor, yeah. is I'm sitting in the top chair. Ooh. Did you hear about that, You Dave? know what would really be cruel? What? I was sitting in the top chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get it up. Here we go. Have a little music there, Terry. The suspense. Ready? Okay, watch the hands. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1. Yeah! He made it! Yeah! I had it at 11. Oh, he made yes! It! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That 
was amazing, David. That feels good. You did it. Actually, I, on my stopwatch, I had it at a little over 11.2. Keith, what'd you have on yours? Uh, 11.3. Okay. Actually. So he did it plus a second. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a world record. Oh. That's great. I'm so proud of you. Huh. I'm pretty excited. You should be. Let me tell our folks that if you want to learn more about his support of STEM education, visit him at davidrushforstem.com.